In Chapter 10 of Three Houses, Byleth is shaken by her father's death and her character model is especially sad in the calendar screen, which is actually a nice touch. Edelgard calls an emergency meeting to discuss the murder, but instead of offering her condolences, she just tells Byleth to stop being a little bitch. The chapter begins as we find that the strange enemies who killed Gerald have hidden inside the sealed forest. Byleth is angry and seeks revenge, which is pretty much the only characterization she ever gets in the entire game. We approach a suspicious rectangular platform where Byleth's father's killer reveals herself to not be Monica, but rather Kranya, a cave dwelling clown imposter. Despite being a one chapter boss that dies on the map she's introduced in, Kranya has found tremendous popularity in Fire Emblem communities exclusively because people are down bad for subterranean goth girl Klossy. I have Byleth fly towards her and defeat her in one hit. In the following cutscene, Solon shows up and rips Kranya's heart out to banish Byleth to the Shadow Realm. In another symptom of later Fire Emblem games contriving problems that were solved in the chapter where they are introduced, Sothis frees Byleth from the void by giving her an invitational letter to join the roster of Super Smash Bros Ultimate before removing herself from the story entirely because the writers wanted to avoid Sothis having any interaction with other characters. 